What up my friends? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a massive Costco haul and a massive meal prep. I went to Costco. I have a couple things to talk about. First of all, pat on the back to me because I lasted like I think three weeks, maybe even longer. I should have checked the date before this video um, before having to go to Costco again. However, we literally had cooked through every form of protein in our arsenal. So between my fridge and my freezer, I have no protein left, like no chicken breast, no back stock on meats, you know? So when I knew, went to Costco, I had to use some girl math. And let me talk to you about my girl math. One is that I sold a pool robot on Marketplace, okay? And it was because we used to have a pool in Virginia and we don't have a pool here. So I sold the pool robot for $300. So girl math tells me that I could take that $300 and it's like free money at Costco. Then as we were leaving for Costco, tell me the universe wasn't blessing us in this second. We go to leave for Costco and John's like, what do I have in my wallet? My wallet is so bulky. So he randomly starts going through his wallet because that's what you do right before you leave to go somewhere. You know, you just pick a random task that should have been done 85 years ago. And you do it in that moment when you're trying to get out the house. So he starts pulling stuff out and he finds a Costco shop card. And he's like, I don't remember getting this. What is this for? It was for something that we had returned and it was for $85 and there was still money on it. Girl math says that is also free money, right? So originally my budget for Costco was $300. I quickly bumped that up to 685 because I said, we just got 385 free money. You know what I mean? Here's the thing. I joke about how I go out of control at, but at Costco, but budget is something that I take very seriously. And I don't wanna come on here and be like, look at all this money I'm spending. So I'm just gonna quickly tell you that what I personally do is I set aside an amount every single week that is going towards my like Costco nonsense. You know what I mean? I'm sure none of you guys really care about this, but some of you might. So I'm just gonna talk about it. The other thing I wanna talk about is when I finally rolled my overflowing cart up to the checkout lane, the guy was like, how are we doing today, Miss Caitlin? Wow, wow, Miss Caitlin. That's what he said to me. And he works at Costco, you know what I mean? He sees those carts coming through. So if he was impressed by my cart, you know that means my cart was impressive, okay? The other thing I wanna talk about is being humbled at Costco. So as I'm walking around Costco, I was kind of wishing that I had brought AirPods so I could like listen to an audiobook or Taylor Swift's 1989 album while walking in the aisles, but I didn't. And I probably rejected about $250 to $300 worth of impulsive purchases when I was at Costco. So I was proud of myself, but nothing humbles you faster than when they give you the checkout total, okay? So remember my budget was 685 going in. I spent 750. However, I do have more girl math to report back to you guys with, which is that I bought two things of formula, which is a separate budget of mine. And that totaled $65. So basically I only went over by what, $10? Somebody math that math down in the comments for me if you're still here, okay? I, I'm guessing people have abandoned ship at this point. I'm gonna go through all of the choices that I made, check out all of the different things that they have, and then I have a meal prep for you. For the meal prep, what I'm gonna do is, I might talk a little bit, but I'm mostly gonna just put some music over it so then you guys can do your dishes, whatever, if you just need some motivation to get something productive done, or if you just wanna sit on the couch and watch it and listen to some great music, by all means, you know, whatever you need today, that's the goal. If you're new here, hi, how are you? How's the family? Welcome, let me give you my spiel. Maybe we can be friends, you let me know. I'm Kate, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have three kids. I live in the state of Florida and have Disney annual passes, so I sprinkle in a little Disney content, but mostly it's hauls over here, and then once a month, for no reason other than I love to talk about it, I talk about the books that I read in the month and do like a little bookish wrap up. If my vibe is what you need in your life, please feel free to subscribe. It means the world to me. Let's get into the video. I hope you're ready to go on a journey because this is gonna be a journey. We did some damage. Halloween is this week. We have never been in this house before for Halloween, so I'm hoping this is enough. I consulted in my neighborhood Facebook group. They basically said, it could go a variety of different ways. So we're just going to go with this. We're going to either end up having to shut off all of our lights and pretend we don't exist, or these are going to be going with John to work. How was I not going to buy this? Just the fun part, waffle cones. 
these, we've talked about them before. The fact that I only bought one is actually a really honorable thing of me because these are our favorite. I only bought one. Pretzel crisp, they're a guarantee over here. I also grabbed this huge bag of croutons um, for when we have salads. They had peppermint bark. Fun fact, I don't like mint anything except when I'm pregnant. Apparently I love peppermint when I'm pregnant. I am not pregnant currently. That was a weird, that was a weird way of saying that. John loves peppermint. Let's be clear, I am not pregnant. This is not that type of video. Announcement, you know. No. Hey mom, guess what? So anyways, peppermint bark for John because he still loves peppermint, pregnant or not, okay? <laughs> Over here, we got apples. This is gonna be to make applesauce for the children and for snacking for us. I got some organic broccoli. I got a huge bag of carrots because I keep buying the smaller ones at the grocery store and this is good for a while. So I figured I'd grab that. And then a huge bag of organic green beans. I also grabbed a bag of fresh squash, huge bag of sweet potato and cantaloupe and bananas. I saw these, this Amy Lou brand, and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I have loved every single thing I have tried from them. And so they had these this time and I was thinking if we'd wanted to do like a salad, you know, something quick to toss on top of it or just burgers, you know, these would be a great option, especially for me during the day. If I forgot to kind of like meal prep or whatever, these are perfect. Back here, I have some of these five cheese tortellonis. I always try to get some type of like a ravioli or something. So then that way I can just have a fast, easy meal when we're kind of in the mood to like indulge a little bit. That's like our indulging meal. I also grabbed these for kind of a convenience factor. We've had these before and love them. They're just chicken meatballs. This is another great brand, Idell's. So Costco said, just bear, sit down. We're gonna come out with our own and we're gonna lower the price. So I will report back and let you guys know if these are, if these are legit too legit to quit you know what i'm saying over here kit kats that are basically like drumsticks say less as the kids would say pepperoni pizza in the back we just like to have that on hand for rough nights don't want to order takeout pepperoni pizza breakfast burritos are finally back in stock and they have a turkey sausage one this time this brand specifically for breakfast burrito you would think you made it yourself. These are so good. So I grabbed that. I honestly should have grabbed two because I think it only comes with 10, but just for a fast breakfast, that's great. Um, I talked about this. Okay, over here, I grabbed these chicken breast strips either for a quick salad or even for Oliver if I need to uh, just like have a quick protein for him. I grabbed two things of formula in the back. So that accounts for like a third of the total you saw on the screen. I'm just kidding. Over here, I needed to refill my lotion. John is 87 years old, so we had to gra grab him some ibuprofen costco size version. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. He also requested paper plates for work because the ones they have at work are styrofoam, so he can't microwave them. So he requested that, and I delivered. Command strips have been on our list since 1971. We basically are just still in the mode of like decorating each room slowly. And so as we need to hang things up, command strips are life. Over here, over here, this lantern has been on my radar since earlier this year. I've talked to myself out of it at least 86 times. Every time I go on Costco, every time I go on their app, I add it to the cart or I look at it and I long for it. Today was the day. It was $10 off. So I grabbed it. There was nothing else to be said about it. I said, that's fine. $10 is apparently the number to grab me. So I got the one with the sleigh. They also have one where they're like doing presents and then another one with the tree. We got a huge thing of almond milk. We also got one of these Caesar salad kits here. $9 for this huge guy. That's a good deal. That is a good deal. Ground turkey, two one and a half pound packs. I also grabbed some organic chicken tenderloin, boneless, skinless. I prefer chicken tenderloin over chicken breast. I just feel like it's easier to prep, easier to cook, just easier in general. I gotta talk to you guys about this honey. So when I was in the store, they have this Florida raw unfiltered honey, right? And then they have the honey that we usually get, which is like the little bear honey. And on that one in the back, it said something like unfiltered raw honey as the ingredient. Now this on the front is marketed as raw unfiltered honey, but then on the back, it just says honey. Whereas the other one I believe said organic raw honey, and this just says honey. So is there a conspiracy? You know, my other question is that 
This one says it's Florida, right? And then the other one didn't specify. They both had the exact same address in Washington. Manny's, we needed to refill. Hummus, I just want to have like good like snacks in the middle of the day because I haven't had much options for snacks. So I grabbed that to go with the pre pretzel crisps or even the little baby carrots. Wanted to refill the kids' pouches. These are not something we use all the time because I do prep most of our baby food to save us money because these are a convenience item. And so the applesauce pouches, the yogurt pouches, and these pouches, they are way higher than if you did it yourself. But I do grab some to have as a backup. Otherwise, my tip would be to make it yourself and use those reusable pouches. I get some on Amazon, which I'll link down below. Over here, we got a huge turkey breast, okay? Look at this beast right here. Let me see how many pounds it was. It is four pounds and it was $18. The reason why I grabbed this, even though you can get a free turkey usually at your grocery store before Thanksgiving, is we're not going to be home for Thanksgiving. We're going to be in our RV. So this is perfect to cook in the RV and still have like a turkey dinner. Perfect. Over here, got a three pack of ground beef and a three pack of, is it Wagyu? Let me know in the comments how you pronounce that. Over here, pork tenderloin. $15.22. This guy here was $2.99 a pound, so it ended up being $15 for this. If you got the big beast pork loin where you cut it up yourself, it was a significant savings, but I am not in that season of life right now. I used to do that. I used to cut it up into my own pork chops, my own loins, and everything was great, but I'm not in that season of life, so I grabbed this. Still a great deal. I grabbed some flour tortillas because we were finally out of stock, and this is our favorite. Grabbed some English muffins. Grab some of this cinnamon raisin bread and then some of the potato bread. If you're wondering, I know that I cannot consume all of this in the span of like a week when it would go bad. We freeze bread and we freeze meats. We freeze almost everything. I even freeze cheese and butter. I've mentioned in the past, my son Oliver thinks he's Gaston. He goes through eggs like you would not believe. So this time I decided to go for two. Mozzarella cheese, they have this. The Costco version is way cheaper but this seemed to be higher quality. So I just, I got, I got sucked in, okay? But I did get the Costco version of the Cheddar Jack cheese because they didn't have an option like this at mine. So I just went with that. They had this main lobster spread. I've been looking for this forever and they finally had it at mine. So I can't wait to dip into this and I don't have to share. That's the best part because John doesn't like lobster. He doesn't like lobster and he's from Boston, traitor. And then I got some Parmesan cheese because we were out butter because we're down to like one pack and that's dangerously low in this house we use a lot of butter and then Oliver I only have one on here for display purposes but I bought three packs of whole milk that is everything that I bought at Costco to restock my fridge freezer and pantry at this time we are putting all of the groceries away and playing the largest game of Tetris there's ever been and I realized I didn't talk about these. I saw these. These were an impulse grab. They just look delicious. And they're like individually wrapped. So they're kind of nice if you want to just have like a little snacky snacker. You know, keep them on your desk maybe. Maybe you like your coworkers. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get started with the meal prep masquerade ball. Okay. Basically, all I'm going to be doing is prepping a lot of produce. So I have all of the produce that you guys saw in the haul video. I'm going to be washing them using the Trader Joe's fruit and vegetable wash. If you don't have that, you can also use distilled vinegar or I think even lemon juice. Or you could just rinse it with water. A lot of these things already say triple washed on them, but it's funny because every time I wash them, they seem to still have dirt on them. So to me, it's like I'll just take a few minutes and get it prepped. One tip I have is try not to put away dirty groceries. So as soon as you get home from Costco or the grocery store, if your schedule allows, try to do this step before putting them away because you don't want to put things away twice. So if you take the dirty produce, put it in the fridge, then you have to take it back out to wash it and then you have to put it back in the fridge again. So we're going to go ahead and kick it off with some music here. You guys can just watch this while you do your own thing and I'll pop in every so often. Enjoy. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. I have tried.
tried a few different hacks that I've seen on the internets for how to preserve apple slices if you want them for snacks and things. And this is by far my favorite. It is ice cold water, literally there's ice cubes in it, that I added one tablespoon-ish of honey. And then I sliced up the apples, stuck them in there, five, 10 minutes, 18, 20, depending on how long you forget they exist. And then you can just drain the water off and they will stay preserved without much browning. There's like light browning every so often, but it's probably because I didn't coat them well enough or give it enough water. Um, but anyways, perfect, especially if you have kids and you wanna put them in a lunchbox or something. For me, these apple slices usually hold up two to three days. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know when we dance in the dark. We're dreamers. question for you do any of the rest of you guys play a game with yourself where you try to see how long you can make the peel on an apple I like to like go around and then see how long I can make that peel am I weird does anyone else do this I usually fail miserably and you'll see as this continues on I end up just abandoning ship We're just gonna do a little check-in here, you know, just mix it up on you guys. Over here, I have the zucchini and squash steaming. These are probably almost done. That doesn't take much, so I'm gonna switch this over to warm. Over here, I've got a lot of diced apples. I diced these small, so then that way I give can give them to Oliver and not stress about them being a choking hazard or anything. These are gonna be blended for applesauce mostly, but I am gonna save a little bit for Oliver for breakfast and stuff like that. Um, I have my lunch over here. We're doing a chicken Caesar salad, sweet potatoes. I'm probably gonna do a few more minutes on these. I'm cooking these at 400 degrees. I'll do five more minutes, boom. Over here, we've got our little station that I've set up. I was letting the vegetables cool down, the ones that I've made so far. So we have green bean, carrot, broccoli. I have apple slices. This is gonna be snacks for us. I got all my jars prepped and ready to go, plus my little wet eraser here. I have my blender. My plan is what I'm gonna do is after I have all of the ingredients out, I'm just gonna kind of make like a whatever combination. So I'm gonna do a little broccoli, a little carrot, a little um, sweet potato. And then next round, whatever I can fill up in this blender essentially. And then I'll be labeling as I go. I have two bigger jars because I know these jars are not gonna cut it. 
And then I also have silicone ice molds that I will probably end up using as well so I can freeze some of it. These jars also I will link down below. These are four ounce jars. They have wet erase tops to them and they are freezable. They, you, can fri you can put them in the fridge, you can put them in the freezer, dishwasher, all those things. So what I do is if I am going to freeze it, you'll notice I'll leave up, like up, I only go up to this line. For the ones that we're gonna use within the next three days, I'll fill all the way up, but that's just so if it expands, it's not gonna break the glass. I've also been doing dishes as I go. So this is the current state of the dishes, which um, most of it is actually from the kids' lunch. So it's looking pretty good over here. point is I'm making my life a little bit easier for myself over the next few days and I am getting Oliver's sides chopped up into toddler size portions and I have them in these awesome meal prep containers that have three compartments so I have one for like fruits and then one for veggies and this will be so much easier for me when I go to feed him to be able to just kind of have an option of a side that's already chopped up I'm also going to be reserving some vegetables for us from this before I puree for the twins. So you'll see that. The containers that you're going to see in here, I've bought them all from Amazon, so I will link them down below. Those links do earn me a small commission, so if you do shop through those links, I appreciate your support very much. I'm crazy, it's just the way that I get every time that I am with you. somebody could explain to me why I decided to allow myself to be on the struggle bus using my KitchenAid in a pinch type blender when I could have pulled out the big Larry of my ninja blender to get all of this food prep done but of course I waited until I was seriously at the end of this process to pull her out. On the highway it's our way we're 66 and we keep on driving we just do what we wanna do all right you guys this is the completed massive meal prep we have sides and snacks for all levels of Costco. we've got baby we've got toddler we've got adults now i just need to worry about proteins and starches to go along with this but now i have some sides to pull from when i meal plan all right my friends thank you so much for being here i hope this video brought you what you needed today maybe a little inspiration to get some productivity done. Maybe the music relaxed you. Maybe you got a laugh. Maybe you picked out some new snack and meal ideas from Costco. If it did, you know the rules if you've been here before. Reward me with a thumbs up, always appreciated. And I will see you in the next one. Have a magical day, bye. Mm -hmm.